to another Looney Tunes commentary. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel and give this video a like if you do like it. So this is a commentary for Saps in Chaps, released in 1942. It's the 361st in the series as directed by Fritz Freeling. Uh, it's pretty much not available anywhere from what I understand. I managed to find this print. I mean, if you're the one that uh, scanned this print, uh, let me know and I'll give you credit. But I think it's safe enough to be on HBO Max personally, but you be the judge of that. And with me today is my fellow uh, cowboy, I suppose. <laughs> He's Blue Genocide. Say hi or howdy. I guess I'm the one in chaps and uh, Anthony's the sap. I don't know. Hello, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> no, you're supposed to say howdy. Howdy, folks. <laughs> I am not going to. I cannot do a southern accent whatsoever. Okay. And here, of course, is a gag with all the yeah. children there. I mean, that's clearly because like, that's based on Mount Rushmore, where, you know, the, just kid pr presidents, you know, just well, a That's how it works, joke. right? They built them that's as right. kids and, the, and the, they aged. <laughs> and, and the spine right there. Or, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is Frizz's attempt to keep going with the Spocket cartoons. And, and, and from what I understand, and people point this out to me, Spotcat Spot cartoons will continue for a little while at Warner Brothers for maybe a couple of years, but then they'll kind of just move on for it because they realize that a lot of them just aren't too good. It's rare that they're absolutely perfect. Whereas Tex over at MGM, he will just continue the Spotcat thing well th throughout his entire <laughs> MGM career. So there you go. Fun, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I do like that wordplay right there, the bone to pick with you. That's pretty good. Mm. This is Cal Dalton animation as as well, um, according to Austin, which yeah, I believe it. I mean, kind of looks like him. Caster's Last Stand. I mean, we had a previous Porky Pig short that kind of had that uh, in there, but yeah, it's just I don't know. This, well, this one, a few yeah. funny bits here and there, but it's not one that's great. I mean, I do like that joke where he just drinks a lot of water, but he's still just. <laughs> crawling just I, I really think the reason why this one hasn't been released is because they probably just forgot it existed and honestly who could blame them yeah I do like this idea though that's just like why would they use the the, the stagecoach as wagon like wagons as uh, rail cars it's ridiculous but anyway yeah I do have to say though that this print that you managed to find from whoever uh looks way better than the one i watched to uh, prepare for this one and no it wasn't on daily motion because <laughs> i got lazy no it was actually part of the big uh looney tunes torrent thing that i probably maybe shouldn't mention i don't know if you want to censor that that's, uh, <laughs> that's all right i also wanted to point out that everyone in this town seems to have rickets you know with the way they were walking before including the mice you know like they're just and they need, they need some more vitamin C, I think. Oh, probably. It is the Old West. They probably need a lot more of everything. <laughs> what who did this? I mean, this this is a weird, like, like you just can't get on the horse. I thought that was pretty pretty good, but... So that's uh, yeah, actually this... live footage of Anthony trying to get on a horse. Yeah, yeah, it's it probably is. I've never actually really ridden a horse before, you know... And, that, and, and, and that's me and uh, Blue trying to work out, you know, who's going to do what with the within the commentary, just sitting on the fence, just yakking away. Yeah, this is basically pretty accurate to what it would be like to watch me and Anthony in the Old West. <laughs> See, this gag I didn't really understand completely. It kind of just ends, like, without a good payoff. Yeah, I, I get what they were trying to do. They were just parodying the fact that there's always that hero, and you got you just got a stereotype villain with you with that completely that mustache, which I would love to grow one day. I would think I would look awesome with that mustache. But wait, so he's just shooting him. I mean, if I was to guess, because and yeah, I agree with you. This is not the best gag. They could have done better. But if I was to guess, like the bad guys would constantly shoot the good guys in these western films, or t um, well, in this case, movie TV show because it's be too early. But you know, in the western uh, movies. But they would never seem to hit the hero, ever. It was just like bang, 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 you know? Uh, but that's but what see, I think it is. Wouldn't it be they funnier if, like, they, they like, uh, he was laughing, but then he laughed himself to death or something like that? Like, I just think, like, the joke ends prematurely. Like, there's no payoff. 
yeah, I, I don't know. That they, they, they really could have... Like I said, I think they could have thought of something much better with that one. I also think some of this rodeo is rotoscope, some of it. Like, this wouldn't be, but some of the... But like, the initial riding or so some of the horses, maybe. But I could be wrong. Maybe. I... Mm, could be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, those legs are pretty wonky, but... You know... Yeah, but, that, but, that, but now you got me thinking how would I have ended that gag you know I mean guys let us know in the comments below how would you do that gag differently you know you got a stereotype villain stereotype hero um, the heroes of course never died at least in the westerns done back then like well even like a reaction from the villain like something mm. and I think maybe the censors had something to do with that maybe it's possible because Mm, it's a possibility. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't feel like that was the planned gag, or like I feel like there's something there that we're missing. Look at the background uh, characters there. Like that, that looks so wonky. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like they're changing like shirt colors halfway through, like their frames. And oh, this is why it's this is why it's not gonna be on HBO Max. Here it is. Nah. Yep. I I I must have blinked and missed that bit and nah. It's, it's not going on there. Sorry, guys. Unless they put a disclaimer. No. Damn you, Frizz. Why did you have to do that one? Oh, you swore. I know. Frankly, I don't give a damn. <laughs> he tried to censor yourself there, too. <laughs> yeah. And, he, and here's the payoff, I guess. Yeah. I, sure. Why not? Anyway, another one off the list. So thanks very much for listening, guys. And until next time, take care. Uh -huh. That's all, folks.